Mercedes AMG S63. This Mercedes was produced after Mercedes controversially replaced the 2024 AMG C63's V8 with a plug-in hybrid four-cylinder setup, sparking worry among AMG aficionados that other high-powered Mercedes could suffer a similar downsizing. But fear not, for the new 2023 Mercedes AMG S63e, performance retained its twin turbocharged 4.0 liter V8, adding a permanently excited synchronous electric motor to produce a massive 791 horsepower and 1055 pound feet of torque. All of that power shoots the Gagantuan sedan to 60 NPH in a claimed 3.2 seconds and onto an electronical, electronically limited 180 NPH top speed. The V8 engine yields 603 HP and 664 pound feet on its own, fed through a 9 speed automatic transmission. The hot V setup with the turbochargers stuffed between the cylinder banks claims to improve responsiveness. The V8 also features a belt driven starter generator that is integrated into the 400 volt electrical system. The electric motor meanwhile is mounted on the rear axle and is paired with a two-speed transmission and an electronically controlled limited sleep rear differential. The second gear engages around 87 mph when the e-motor reaches its maximum speed of 1000 I mean 13500 rpm dropping the motor back to a low rpm where it makes its peak torque. The electric motor can make 188 horsepower for up to 10 seconds or a continuous 94 horsepower while the gas and electric powertrains use separate transmission. The all-wheel drive system allows the e-motor power to be sent to the front wheels as well so the S63 can run as an all-wheel drive EV. The battery pack is situated above the rear axle and has a 13.1 kWh capacity providing a driving range for of around 20 miles. Mercedes says that the positioning of the car and battery on the rear axle improves weight distribution and handling well this s63 offers four levels of regeneration the lowest allows for coasting while the is permits one pedal that driving and can re return up to 90 kw back into the power charging for the battery is handled by a 3.7 kw onboard ac charger but mercedes didn't cite a recharging time estimate if you enjoy this content, kindly smash the subscribe button, turn on post notification, and pass your comment in the comment box. Thank you.